right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Yeah, let me put this away. I gotta reheat it anyway. It's got it's gotten cold. I woke up this morning with a lot of news going on. Um, Felicia Rashad came out and supported Bill Cosby. And I'm kind of glad Felicia came out because many people had to be thinking, like, why didn't she speak up? It's getting to the point if she didn't say something, people are going to think that maybe Bill did her. So that's probably why she did it. Now, now in, in respect to Felicia Rashad, I got to say, man, back in the 80s, Felicia Rashad was like this woman, right, that symbolized how great a wife could be to a lot of people. I mean, I'm one of those people. I mean, I looked at her and I was like, wow, Felicia Rashad, accomplished, sexy, don't take no mess, loving, nurturing, powerful, paid. She had everything, okay? And I know that was just the character that she played, but I brought into it. And we brought in the bill, same thing, whatever. Okay, so that's the reality. So let's not minimize the effect Felicia Rashad or her role, Claire Huxtable, had on people. So here's the thing, man. She was at a luncheon for a new movie coming out called Selma, right? And at this place, she got interviewed by a reporter. And she says, initially, she said, hey, I don't want to be a part of the debate she says, I don't, have, I don't want to become part of the public debate. And that statement is debatable, right? Because once you say something publicly and you're Felicia Rashad about Bill Cosby and did he do some raping, well, you're already a part of the debate. Ain't no going back now. It is what it is. I'm glad she said something, though. Now, now people are crucifying her. They're, you know, they're dragging her across the Internet because she is not siding with the women. She's siding with Bill. And I guess, look, I don't know why people are surprised at this. I mean, Felicia Bashad worked with Bill Cosby for years. She doesn't know these women. She goes on to say that she stands by Bill Cosby um, because she says she loves him. She says, I love him, speaking about Bill Cosby, um, she stands defiantly behind him. She told me that in the years she's known him, she has never seen the behavior alleged by the women who say they were drugged, raped, or sexually harassed. So it's not a little thing. I know people want to discount it. It's not a little thing that Felicia Rashad says she was never raped, sexually assaulted, what have you, from Bill Cosby. Do you guys remember how attractive Felicia Rashad was back in the 80s? Now, I'm not saying she's not an attractive woman now. I'm saying back in the 80s, she was smoking. Fine. Mm. So, but Bill never tried anything with her, though. And I know people are going to discount it and say it don't mean anything. And they're right in the way. I mean, just because Bill didn't try anything with her, it doesn't mean he didn't try anything with anybody, right? Well, he ain't still for me. Maybe you ain't had nothing he wanted to steal. Or maybe he knew you had a gun. There's a lot of reasons why a thief might not steal from you. Right? People tend to try houses that look um, unoccupied. Now, I'm, look, hey, 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 hey. I'm not saying Bill did anything. Which her statement, Felicia Rashad's statement, in her defense, is neither exonerating Bill Cosby because she can't do that, but it doesn't condemn or make things worse for him. All right? So then she goes on, and this is the part where people got pissed. Got people going, fuck you, Felicia, which I think is wrong. But that's what they're saying, because she said this. She said, forget these women. And when she said, the way it sounds, like, like she don't want to call a woman, she want to call them something else. She's like, forget these bitches. Forget these women, which I said. What you're seeing is the destruction of a legacy. And I think it's orchestrated. I don't know who or why or who's doing it, but it's the legacy. And it's a legacy that is so important to the culture. All right, so that got her in trouble, right? Because she says, forget these women. 
And there are people who don't want to forget these women. There are people who are saying, hey, these women are probably right. I believe these women is too many women to be wrong. Somebody got to be telling the truth. And look, hey, I think, I tend to believe where there's smoke, there's got to be something. Got to be fire somewhere. I don't believe all these women are telling the truth, but I don't believe all these women are lying about everything. Okay? That's my stance on it. But I wasn't there. People want to jump on me for saying shit like, I wasn't there, I don't know. No one's taken a lie detector, even though that's inadmissible. No one filed formal charges. So we will never know. This is all talk. These people, and, and, and I know there's a lot of people are throwing Bill Cosby under the bus on this. I saw how the young Turks, the young snarks, that's what we're going to call them for now, the young snarks. People don't know what snark is. It's sarca sarcastic, annoying to me. That's that's what it means. But the young snarks, um, they're throwing him under the bus this morning, or yesterday, I would say, on a video unrelated to him. So now Bill Cosby has become a punchline by the liberal media just to beat up on him for no reason. I don't want nobody to Bill Cosby, yeah. <laughs> okay. It's almost as if somebody from high above, and when I say that, I don't mean the creator or anything of that nature. I mean high above in the world of broadcasting who control the levers, and that's the controversy part. That's where the destruction comes in, right? Because I think somebody did say, all right, Time for us to do them. Do them. Get rid of Cosby. I mean, come on. Too many entities have decided they're going to throw him under the bus. They could have just as easily said, you know what? This hasn't gone to court. There is no evidence. We're not going to believe it until that time. They did that for 20 years, right? Supposedly. For 20 years, that's what people decided to do. That's what news media decided to do. Why the sudden shift? I just don't believe it's all because of a comedian named Hannibal Barris that all of a sudden people wanted to switch and say, okay, you know what? We need to listen to these allegations. We need to listen to these women. I don't believe that's how things work. I don't believe, I don't believe Hannibal Barris is that funny. In this, in, Look, I do think he's funny, but I don't think he's that funny where his statement in a comedy club in a nightclub somewhere in wherever it was in New Jersey is so dramatic and so hype that it just caused the destruction of Bill Cosby's career and legacy. I just don't believe that. I know there's people out there who want to believe that because they don't want to look behind the curtain and see anything that's scary. Oh my God. They set him up for destruction. But why would they do that, Tim? I don't know. I don't know why people would want to destroy Bill Cosby. I don't know if people are trying to destroy Bill Cosby. I don't know if all these women are telling the truth. I don't know if all these women are lying. I just think some of them are kind of flaky. Right? That's what I think. But that's what happens when you wait or when the allegations are wrong soon. It's like, why 20 years? It's just, I'm skeptical. You know? So, you know, Miss Rashad also came out and she said that Camille Cosby was a tough, strong woman and that she doubts highly that Camille Cosby knew anything about Bill doing anything. If she did, she would have came out. That's what she thinks. And that's her opinion again. Like, once again, that's her opinion. People are beating up on Felicia Rashad for having an opinion because in the world of social media, they've already made up their minds. And that's what I don't like. People think that you should already have your mind made up. Even though there's been no trial, there's been no evidence, there's been nothing, you want your mind to be made up against them or for them. And I'm a person who sits somewhere in the middle going, ah, hey, I can't say he did nothing, I don't know, because there's a lot of people and it seems a little fishy and who knows, maybe Bill just got a lot of strange on the side and some people, some people got mad at him, maybe he did get a couple women drunk, I don't know. And then the people saying, well, you should just be on the side of the woman and I'm like hey I don't support rape it's just that I don't know if I trust y'all you could be lying all of you could be lying you see because when you lie to get public 
opinion and public shine and fame, who knows? You could be lying. I don't know. I really don't know. So anyway, guys, that's how I look at it. Felicia Rashad, she's getting beat up on social media, and it's a shame. And uh, maybe she used some very strong words, but at this point, at least somebody is supporting Bill Cosby. Also, Keisha Nipulia, uh, Rudy Huxtable, she came out in support as well, so that's pretty cool. Maybe that's why Felicia Rashad decided to come out and support as well. All right, so all we need now is Theo. What's up, Theo? Come on out, man. <laughs> I'll see you on the next video. Later.